welcome to my channel. It's Rebecca, also known as 4 at 147 and it's time to kit up. Um, so I will be doing de-kittings um, on the last one that I kitted up, but I currently don't have anything to work on, so kitting up is more important. Um, and I'm going to kit up um, this lovely image that was sent to me as a gift from Melissa. So, and it's an ever moment. So I'm gonna enjoy all of this process. Um, I do have a new storage case to get up into. Um, I don't think the unboxing for this will have gone up yet. So it, it will come in time, um, but of course there will be a link for this down below as I tend to put in with every one of my unboxings. Is that two pieces of paper? It is, I don't need the other one. Okay, so yes, I'm going to kit up this coffee time because I am eager to work on this one and I haven't worked on an ever moment in such a long time. I think that will also be rather nice. Um, so this one does come with an inventory sheet. So I'm gonna use the inventory sheet and a sticker maker that was gifted to me by a lovely subscriber. Thank you so much, Mary James. Just a little shout out there for another one. Um, and my daughter has my trimmer and I can't be bothered going to get it off her. So I'm going to just use scissors because I have scissors here. Um, these are my posh, uh, posh uh, scrapbooking scissors. Let me just check. Okay, so I do need to cut closer to the numbers rather than down the line just to make sure that it fits, which is probably a good job because I put a load of tip marks all right over the numbers. <clears throat> so we'll lose those as well. Um, and then we'll cut close to the symbols and that just makes sure that it fits on my pots because I don't want to have to cut them out as two separate and layer them up. It's just too much effort. Ah, oh, that'll fit on nice. Okay, so that stuff I no longer use anymore. Occasionally I will cut the picture out but not very often and then I'm going to feed this through my sticker maker which is an absolute godsend and awful to find in the UK as many people will know and I didn't put it in straight but luckily it did reach the top so all is not lost. And we will just move on from there. So let's take off this top bit that takes off all the excess sticking that's not ended up on my labels. And we'll trim them all down. So this painting actually has 34 colours. So lots of colours for this one. And they of course in no sort of order in that bag. I checked them all off, but they're not in any order. And I actually brought these smaller scissors for doing this. I don't know which ones will be better actually. But I'm just trimming across <coughs> every single one of them so that of course they're still attached to the sheet, but I'll be able to peel them off and stick them on my bottles. If you can hear any noise, it's my daughter currently cleaning her room. Um, her room is right above and she does have laminate flooring so it makes a noise. I've asked her if she wants a rug but she doesn't so we will have the odd clatter normally while she's pulling stuff out from under her bed but you'll be glad to know I did wait until she'd finished hoovering before doing this. But I can't wait any longer. I need to have a diamond painting to do. So because I actually couldn't get in to kit in my craft room, like, you know, time slash energy <laughs> to come in and do a video um, and kit up, I actually did a few sort of bits and pieces that were not uh, sort of off the canvas paintings. Um, I did those over the last couple of days and that was actually quite enjoyable. 
So I just grab something off the canvas and, and do it until it was finished because for those I tend to just pick one symbol and, and do the whole lot. There's no point in actually kitting it up and kitting it down. Um, well, it'll still need putting away. Um, it'll still need kitting down as such, but I'll probably just do them all together um, because most of them are special shapes. So there'll be a special shapes de-kitting as well as um, the last one I finished was a square diamond painting from Fan Cells. So a little bit different, not their usual round, um, but I'll be sure to do a review and a de-kitting on that. Um, I also do plan on doing a whip and chat soon. Um, I'll probably do it on this painting. I'm just not sure when, but uh, I am very conscious that all I have had up recently is unboxings. Um, so I'm going to get this one kitted up and I'm going to get this video up sooner than any of the other unboxings I've got. For those that like the different content and then I will get a whip and chat up and give you all a full update on what's going on as soon as as soon as I can find a bit more time. Um, but sometimes I just, to be honest, I just don't feel like filming and chatting. So when that happens, I tend to, my downtime then tends to be diamond painting. So I need to make sure that I have a diamond painting to do during that downtime. And this is a very tedious process, um, but it's it's quite nice and therapeutic all at the same time. So I'm just peeling each number and symbol. So I've got the DMC number and the symbol, and I'm just sticking them onto my little pots in this organizer case. I personally tend to start from the bottom, um, but that's just because I'll have this propped on a table near me. Um, and I will just look at the numbers in that way. But of course you can always kit from the top down. Um, that tends to be the way my daughter does it. She tends to do it from the top down. So it is just a matter of what works for you. Um, some people will kit up and then will actually move things around so that the symbols are what's in order. Um, and that's what I like about these round pots is you can um, put all your stickers on, of course, in DMC number order because that's what's on these packets is DMC numbers. Um, get them all in the right place, all in the right pots, and then rearrange according to symbol, which is what you look at on the canvas. Just do whichever one works for you. And my brain's actually thinking ahead and I'm thinking, where's my craft knife for sorting out that canvas? I will pause and go for a hunt for that later. That's not a now problem, that's a later problem. Okay, so there is all my pots with their labels. I'm not even sure if you can see that properly. Come on, focus, there we go. So we've got the symbol and then the DMC number and I've got that across all the pots. Are we gonna focus back? Yes, there we go. So, I'm going to do this, I think, very similar to the way I counted the diamonds when they arrived, is I'm going to work on the big packets first, because then any smaller ones, I can always add them as and when I need them, if this is full. So, first one is 945. This is where the smaller scissors come in handy. So, let's see how much of the pot one of these fills up. Is it full, half full, or more than half full? Hmm, it's probably, it's, it's, it's probably a smidge over half full, um, which means I don't really want to put another full packet in. Um, sorry, excuse me. I'm just gonna reach up on my shelf behind me and just get my little pot for the rubbish. So, did I have any extras of 945? What's that one? That's 951. 
Okay, not that I can see, so we'll pop that one back for now. If I need to get it out, I need to get it out, but I'm just popping my spare packet just in this little pouch at the top. <clears throat> I don't tend to keep anything else in there, so I think that's one of the biggest numbers. So we'll do 951 while I've found that before, because I know I'll be able to fit in both this big packet and the smaller one. That will be fine, it's just whether two big packets is a bit too much. And this is probably the most time consuming part, apart from the diamond pain itself, of course, because that always takes a while. Okay, so 814. And again, I'm only gonna fit in the one I'm having a quick look to see if I can see if I have any smaller packets, but they're not jumping out at me. Being of a similar shade, um, there's none jumping out at me, so if I come across them later, I come across them later. So, three, two, one, they happen to be together as a big pack, so let's see how many we can fit in. So one of these tends to be equivalent to five of these. So I think I'll be fine getting all three in, but we'll see how full it really gets if I don't drop them everywhere. I don't think I cut the hole big enough to get them out and there's a little bit of a crease, which is making them all stick. And I'm actually sat down for doing this kitten up. I'm normally stood up whenever I do a kitten up and then my feet are killing by the time I've finished. But on the plus side, in my craft room sort out, I did find my little pick me up and brush pen. Not that I've got it out at the moment, but I did find it. Okay, so we're adding now one big packet and three small ones. And that has got pretty much full. It's not far off being full. Um, so I think it's a good idea not to put two big packets in. I think that was a wise move. I could have regretted it. Okay, seven, three, eight. Oh, and I've just spotted I have got more here. In fact, I've got four. Which could potentially fit in but I think three is the nice number and there is a bit of static in that pack I wonder if we've got a static problem in these or not no oh, no no static in the small ones but there was in the big ones I think it must be something to do with how much static when they're put together oh but the static in that one hit and miss So I think I'm going to stick, especially because we have got static and I don't want too many in the pot that it's not comfy getting them out and tipping them into a tray. Come on. So I think that's going to be my limit. One big packet and three small packets. Anything extra is just going to go in this top pouch and I can find them when I need them. 3858. See, look, that's how they should all work. And then there is an extra packet of this as well. Okay, what else have we got in big? 3799 which is our dark grey, and I have spotted there is a couple of smaller ones as well. So they'll all fit in. But yeah, what is everybody else working on at the moment? Anybody else kitting up while watching this video? Maybe you're de-kitting, maybe you're diamond painting, Maybe you're not doing anything at all. 
any of those is good. Okay, 729. This is one that it looks as though this is all I've got. But I could be wrong. But we'll just put the one big packet in and save the other. Okay, next big packet. 154. Our purple. even see where there is purple in that picture. I'm sure it will be in some shading or something. It tends to work itself out. Okay, 371. See we've got a lime green as well. Where is the lime green in that? Again, it will figure itself out, I'm sure. I've done a black and white painting with a load of purple and green and stuff in it and it turned out looking fantastic. So. I'm all for trust in the process and just seeing what happens. I mean, not all sellers get it right. Don't get me wrong, there are some where you put in a colour and it's like eh. But more often than not, they're pretty good. Okay, so my little tub that I tend to put the paper bits in is getting a bit... OTT, so I'm going to pop them into the bag that they all came in and then just go back to using the tub because it's easier to throw everything in. Oh, 310. So we've got a big bag of 310 in this one. Kind of expected that. And then we do have some small bags as well, so I'm going to have a look and see how many. So we've got four. So I'm going to put one for going in the top section and we'll just put three in because that to me is the comfortable amount. I could fit the fourth in but it doesn't look as comfy a fit to me and the last thing I want to do is tip out a colour because I only need two or three in the section that I'm working on and end up with a bucket ton of them in my tray. I much prefer to put a smaller amount in. That one is full enough. Okay, 402. And again, I've got bags extra of this one that I can see already. So let's get the big bag in. I did used to do these differently. And we've got four on this one as well. So one for the spurs. Um, and I did used to just do the big bag and then see how many of the smaller bag I needed but that was when I kept them stored in these bags when I put them away I don't bother with that anymore I just tip them all in because even when I go to put them in my spares I open up the bag to put them in my spares so I'm going to have to open them at some point I may as well open them now Okay, next is 3771, and I can't see it for looking, it's there. I'm sure I had this on a other painting I did from every moment. You know when you just recognise a colour? I can't remember which one though. You guys will probably remember easier than me. Okay, and then I've got two packets as well. But I remember when I did inventory on this, there are some packets that I am not likely to need at all because every moment do send a lot of extra diamonds. So you do tend to find you always have some left over. Thought I was getting there with the big bags and then I keep seeing more. Okay, 3778. There is a lot of nice rich colours that are going to do some wonderful shading in this painting. I'm quite excited. Okay, any more big ones? 939. We 
have a big bag and then we're on to the small ones which will probably all fit in pots unless I've already shoved the load in and missed them. 939 I have a couple of extras, nearly missed those. I know these diamonds will get used up if I don't use them all on this painting because these are in my heaven and earth designs which I do need to get more of it done okay last big bag that I've got is 3855 and I can't see any similar colour to add to it so it's just the one bag for this Okay, so now we're on to the smaller ones. Now they do tend to group them together um, from this company anyway. So if you've got two together or if you've got one on its own, then that's the only one that you'll have. And those are the only two that you'll have. Um, so 918, let's see if I can do the, the double cut without making a mess. So I've folded two bags in half and just cut across them both. I don't mind doing that as much when the pot is not full. 921. And you've got one lonely little bag. So this mustn't be in the painting much. Same with 666, which is red. Also, just one bag of that. And then my little pot of rubbish is filled up quite a bit again. It's the only thing that ends up taking more space with no diamonds in, I think, than it does with diamonds in because the air just overtakes it all. Okay, 746. Let's see if we can do a double cut. So much quicker if I don't make a mess, which I've half done. Not too much of a mess. I should use my funnel, then I wouldn't make a mess, but we all know that I don't do that that often. Okay, so we've got 745, which is another pale yellow. Pretty. Okay, 785. Three. Again, this is one it tends to find. Well, I'm finding on this one it does have a lot of colours, but you don't necessarily need a lot of each colour. So, for example, three eight six five on this painting, it only uses twenty nine on the whole painting, but of course you'll get a bag for it. But I like the fact that they don't skimp on what colours you're getting even if you don't need many of them. Okay, 317. We've got three of these. I'm not gonna cut three bags at the same time because that is just tempting fate. That is just asking for trouble. And I will spend more time cleaning up the mess I've made than I will do being able to kit up. So I'm not going there. Speaking of 3865, we've just got one lonely little bag, but that one bag will have plenty of diamonds for this picture. Okay, 823. We're nearly there, guys. It's not bad going. I don't know if my camera is going to shout at me. I can't remember. It's been that long since I've had a big filming session. I can't remember when my memory card saves. In what time frame? I guess I'll find out in a minute when it saves on me. 3822. Just have this automatic feature. I never say I can't remember what time frame it is. Past videos will tell me. I think it's soon. Okay. 
779. Okay, maybe it's not the time frame that I thought because it's gone past the first time frame that I thought. Just in case anybody is really interested. Not that it is very interesting conversation. But I don't want to start going into a full update on craft room, etc. And then I feel like I'm repeating myself on the whip and chat. Okay, so it was closer than I thought. <laughs> um, sorry, yeah, I don't want to discuss too much what I want to discuss in my whip and chat. Um, because I feel like people that don't necessarily watch kitten up videos but want the updates would prefer to know when the updates come in and I don't want to repeat myself so I will do a whip and chat soon um, and give you all an update on building works, craft room, all that sort of jazz so you know what's coming. We've got 3861 and we're nearly done. Not got many colours left. We've got four of these. But because there's no big bag in there already, all of these will fit perfect. And I could decant the spare ones into these spare pots. But then I'd have to use a sticker to label them up and stuff. And while this, this storage container actually has a bag at the top, it's just as easy to pop them in there. If, if it was a kit that they all came sealed in a pouch and once it's open, it's open, then I'd have put them in those spare pots. Or if there was too many, um, I would probably do, you know, the ones that there is the most of into a second pot. But for the purposes of this picture, it's just easier to throw them in that bag at the top and then I can just tip them into the container as and when needed. Okay, so my battery light's flashing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change my battery. How many times have you heard me say that? Um, but I'm also gonna find my knife because I'm very nearly done with these colors. And at least then I can move straight onto the canvas. Okay, that's all done, found a craft knife. So let me just tuck those other ones in there and let's get the last ones done. So 712, didn't have any in. Looks like I've done pretty well on matching up so far. So, and then we've got 842, of which we've got two. Come on. And then 3031, which is like a chocolate brown. There it is. Oh, I cut the wrong side of a couple of diamonds, so they were stuck in the lid and flipped. There we go. Okay, so all the colours are kitted up in my little pots. I've got a few spares, but really not many at all, which is awesome. So let me go back to standing up because it's a lot easier for prepping the canvas. So I'm gonna get that bit of rubbish the sort of last bits of the plastic wrap out of there and get those tubs out of the way. Um, I also no longer need the bag because my storage case comes with the storage for spare diamonds. I don't need to put it in here. So I can take off my little label that tells me what diamonds they are and that can go back into storage with the rest. They're just A5 size. Um, and while I got most of these with scrapbooking kits, which is what company that is, um, 
They are available in stationery shops, but it's the A5 size that I tend to use more than anything. Okay, so I've got my canvas. That's also got my little label. So my daughter created me some little labels with the name, the size, the shop. And while the shop for this one is Ever Moment, um, it was gifted to me by Melissa. So she gets her name on it. Um, okay. I'm just trying to... Oh. My big long knife is magnetic and it had stuck to my other ruler. Sorry, my big long ruler is magnetic and it had stuck to the other one. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go for a section about this size and work my way across. So that depth down there. That's what I tend to use as my guideline is what I sort of think is a nice size, but I'm also using this paper to sort of try and make sure that it's a pretty straight edge. And then I'm gonna run my craft knife. Now you only have to run this lightly. Uh, you don't want to run it too heavy because you do not want to cut through the canvas. Um, and then I'm gonna sort of, yeah, I'm gonna sort of go the same again. They're not necessarily gonna be even sizes because this one is slightly bigger to the first bit. And then this top bit, of course, is going to be slightly smaller because the pattern doesn't go all the way up. But I tend to, more often than not, unless the design is very um, blocky at the top and bitty at the bottom, and I want to get the blocky part done first, so the exciting part can be later, um, I do tend to start at the bottom. Um, either one side or the other but I do tend to start at the bottom and I'll peel back a section and go okay I'll work on that so it's quite nice to have a smaller or skinnier section for the bottom so I feel like I'm getting somewhere then I do a bit bigger sections once I've got into it and I sort of know where all the numbers are in my case and I recognize the symbols a bit more and then it'll be nice to have a smaller section when I get to the top and I want to get it finished that's my view anyway. Um, it means it works for me. So I'm just popping my scissors back. <laughs> Trying not to lose stuff. Um, craft room's not fully finished yet, but it is definitely a lot more organized. So um, that's that. I have noticed there is quite a big strip across this side. Um, so I am gonna cover this with washi tape and I am actually gonna do it before I do the diamond painting just because it is such a big strip and it's not, yeah, it's easy enough to do it now. Why not? So, this is the washi tape that came to hand. And of course I put my scissors back, didn't I? Not that I need scissors when it comes to washi tape because it is terrible. But it is a lot neater. So let me just crop them again. And we'll just do the the big the big part where the washi tape overhangs where the double-sided tape overhangs and it's sort of the same on this side it's not too bad on that bottom section and if anybody's wondering this purple on the canvas is actually from the ribbon the ever moment tie around it i don't know whether the ribbon was damp or whether it was just, you know, condensation or heat in the air because the country this was made gets a lot warmer than it does here. Um, but yeah, it just seems to have, the ribbon, the ribbon seems to have bled a little bit, which is why there's a straight line and then there's a couple of little bits here. That was the bow. Um, but none of it's <coughs> got on the actual double-sided tape and it doesn't cause a problem. You can still see it, but look, you can see the two skeins of, of ribbon that were wrapped around and underneath the washi tape, you can see some little bits trailing off and that's where the bow was. It's cute. It's cute. Okay, so there we go. I'm all kitted up for coffee time. Um, I've got my new storage that's Melissa's fault. Thank you, Melissa. <laughs> as, as I do say when I unbox it, 
um, I am still very grateful. It's very pretty. Um, I'm excited to use it and I'm excited to also do this image. Um, and this is the image that I'm doing. Just in case I didn't show you well enough before. I've got rid of the piece of paper, but there we go. It says coffee time, which is all the time for me. Um, but yeah, this is ready, so I've got something to do and it'll be nice to work on an ever moment again and see if they're as good as they've always been. But thank you so much for joining me um, and I will speak to you all again very soon.